Please be advised that this video is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Any views are purely my own, are subjective, and may not necessarily be true. I do, however, do extensive research for all of my videos. All photos have been found in the public domain, and I am using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing guidelines. I urge everyone to do their own research and to view this video subjectively. Well, hello, it's Murky Meg here. It's September the 23rd, and today marks the first day of the Hapless Twos Africa Tour. And they have landed in South Africa, and lo and behold, while there wasn't an official greeting for them, we have photos of them getting off the aeroplane and around the airport. And yes, Archie is with them. There he is, look, there's the baby with his little hat on. Goodness knows, it isn't cold in South Africa. Why has he got a hat on, for goodness sake? But there they are. They've landed. What do you think of that one, then? To be honest, I'm a little bit shocked. I thought that they would have kept this all under wraps, but maybe they've been papped, and they didn't want to actually reveal the child just yet. I'll touch on that a little bit at the end of the video. But today, I'd like to start off with articles saying that this child, Archie, will be the saviour of their tour and the saviour of their reputation. Now, I've got a few issues with this. First one, they haven't actually shown him properly to the British public. So the fact that he thinks, or they think, that they can hop on a plane, start their official Africa tour by going, look, he is the chosen one. He is the Messiah. You must all bow down to us. We are the greatness of the royal family. Doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. We, the British public, have been shielded and we've only been shown very, very limited photos of this child. Then to go on tour and say, ta-da, here he is, I find that quite an insult by being a British taxpayer. We are not worthy of seeing this child. So it's kind of like a slap in the face. Another issue I have with this matter is that they think that they can use their child as if it's a safety net for their failing reputation. Oh, we're not doing too well. We're a bit disliked. But here's our baby. Isn't he lovely? And again, it's kind of using him as a tool and a band-aid to basically say, OK, we've got it wrong. But look, 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 here's the child. Aren't we fabulous? It's quite concerning that they are using their child to help save their reputation. And I think this is just a big middle finger to us Brits because we're not worthy of seeing him. But hey, let's take him on tour and make it a great success because we are showing our child. Aren't we amazing? As soon as they land in Africa, Megan is going to be whipped off to one of the townships where she is going to be giving a talk on gender violence. Now, I've got some serious problems with this because I don't think that it's right for her to go and talk on a subject that she probably knows nothing about. I've been there myself and it isn't nice. I can't imagine what it's like without the stability of counsellors and doctors and everybody else that get you through what can happen with regards to violence in a relationship. Has she got any experience on this? To go and talk to women about a subject you know nothing about is downright repugnant. Personally, as a woman, I am more affected by the fact that she's going to do this than anything that she has ever done. It's deeply affected me that she thinks that she is a force that she can go and dictate how people should live their lives and what they should do. I find it extremely hypocritical that she's come from a very privileged life and she's going to speak to these women on a very, very personal subject that she just can't even comprehend what they're going through. So what gives her the right to do that? And you can probably hear on my voice that I feel very, very deeply on this subject. I wasn't going to talk about this, but do you know what? I think it's very important. If you've gone through domestic violence as a woman, it, it affects you. It changes your whole well-being, your outlook on life. And yes, time is a great healer and the support that you get. But what you also need is people that understand the things that you're going through, not somebody that's popped on a plane and just kind of thought, oh, I'll go and talk about this subject. It might get me some likes. 
Now, while we're led to believe that this African tour is going to be the golden egg of Harry and Meghan, a lot of South Africans don't believe that they should be there. And take a look at social media and you will see that a lot of people are venting their anger and saying, what the hell are you doing? Why are you coming? It's not safe here. We don't want you here. Stop lecturing us. And enough is enough, basically. I think that they need to be very careful because if they go in and start preaching and lecturing to people, there will be, I think, a big backlash. And there's massive troubles going on at the moment in South Africa. There's a lot of unrest and it needs to be a delicate balance on how they actually deal with this situation. They can't just go in and go, woo, we're here, aren't we fabulous? No, it doesn't work like that. These people are going through some very troubling times. There's actually been nationwide protests in South Africa over the past couple of weeks after a series of murders of women, and the country's president has admitted that he's struggling to cope with the crisis that's happening. The riots are partly the result of economic fluctuation. Many poor South Africans have endured after apartheid. These two are renowned for their love of lavish things and luxury, And this tour comes after a weekend that Meghan wore a £9,000 dress. To give you a reference, that dress costs over 167,000 South African rand. The average annual salary in Cape Town is around about 200,000 rand per year. But obviously that's Cape Town and salaries will be higher within a major city. But that's not the whole picture. Only 44% of people in South Africa are employed. So we have to factor in that fact. The minimum wage in South Africa is around about 3,500 rand per month. But that equates to around about 42,000 rand. So say you had a job and you were in receipt of that 42,000 rand per year. Would you want to be preached by someone that's just spent almost four times your annual salary? On one dress. I know one thing's for sure is that I will be watching this tour with great interest and I will try and bring you as much information as I can when it's released. I'm going to end today's video on something I want you to think about. They landed in South Africa with no official royal greeting and I want to ask why is that? Why was there no official greeting as with any other tour that a royal does. You see them getting off the plane, being greeted by officials. It happened in Morocco when they went. It happened in Australia and everywhere that they flew to within that tour. Why is this not happening on this tour? My personal opinion is that they want to control who and what and how we see Archie. It's all up to them. She can't show him off until the absolute optimised moment, can she? They must have known they were going to be papped at the airport within South Africa. So I'm a bit baffled by all of this, to be perfectly honest, and I've had to change my video a little bit with this new information. I personally thought they weren't going to be seen at the airport at all. That's just my two cents worth, really. What do you think of the official tour? Is it going to be a disaster? Is it going to save their reputation by bringing Archie out into full view in Africa? What do you think of Meghan discussing gender violence in the townships? Do you think that's right? Do you think that she should be able to do that as a duchess of this country? Or do you think that it's completely bang out of order? As always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell. And I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.